I love Inferno. It's actually my favorite map, not just in Counter-Strike, but one of my favorite maps in the history of gaming. There's just something about it that's so compelling, so interesting, and continues to hold my attention even after so many thousands of hours of play, both in CSGO and now heading into CS2. And the best part about it is the simplicity of the map. Honestly, this video could be boiled down to this. If you're a new player and you have absolutely no idea what you're doing, just remember this. If you're pushing the B side as a T, you want to smoke CT. If you're pushing A, you're going to want to smoke Arch if you want to go Boiler side, or you want to smoke Boiler if you want to go Arch side. And if you're on the CT side, remember to smoke Banana to prevent pushes, and if you're playing on the A side, you might want to smoke Mid to prevent people from pushing through. That's it. You can get by with just that basic information and do well in a lot of your Inferno games. But if you want to dig a little deeper, Inferno reveals itself to be one of the most tactically interesting maps in the game with some amazing utility that you can take advantage of for even better round wins as you start climbing higher and higher. So if that interests you at all, make sure you take a second, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel for more, and make sure you guys follow me on Twitch and TikTok for more stuff coming your way, and let's get right into the utility breakdown. Okay, first things first. My whole modus operandi, my entire goal, anytime I'm going to be making these kinds of videos, is to instill one thing into your mind. And that's that do you do not need to overcomplicate how you approach this game. Keep it simple, you do not need 75 smokes, 100 different Molotovs, and learn every backwards no-look Nikola Jokic through the legs, backbender, McTwisty flop, pop flash to win this game. The best thing you can do when you approach learning how to get better at this game is pick a handful of smokes, maybe a couple Molotovs and some flashbangs, and commit them to muscle memory. You don't need that much learned utility, because the more stuff you try and cram into your brain on these maps, the more you're going to forget it in the moment, be overwhelmed, and not do anything. Just learn a few things, memorize them well, know when to use them well, and you will do better in your games. Case in point, when you're on the T side and you're trying to push B, you may have seen this viral CT smoke going around that when you line up correctly will bounce off of a little ledge and land on top of the boost in CT spawn, but still covering the gap for you to cross the site. It's a very interesting smoke and taking away the boost option is really good, but in practical use, this smoke is not that useful because of what it needs to be able to cut off the boost. It's too deep. When you look at it, it leaves quite a noticeable gap at the corner where a cheeky CT player can still jiggle peek towards banana and catch people off guard. Because here's the reality. Players treat smokes like walls. If you throw a smoke somewhere, people do not expect other people to push through it. So if you leave a gap like that, savvy players will take advantage of it and catch your teammates or you off guard. Because again, smokes equal walls for the majority of players. So in reality, this smoke isn't that practical. It's much better just to throw a standard CT smoke from the barrels or just peeking the corner around truck and just tossing it and moving on. Because you're going to cover the corner and the gap and you're still going to cover boost pretty reliably. If you're really worried about it and there's people playing there, just peek the corner and pre-fire it instead. You don't need to overcomplicate this. Now, literally anybody can throw the CT smoke when pushing B, a smoke that just does not get used enough is the coffin smoke. It is one of the most useful smokes you can throw on the entire map, and the fact that people do not utilize it in the majority of my games definitely drives me up a wall, so I am becoming a coffin smoke specialist, and as should you. Luckily, the lineup is very simple. What you're going to do is stand in this corner behind the half wall banana. You're going to be looking up to the scaffolding above the building in front of you. We're going just to the left of the middle rail, and then aiming at the light that is directly above it. Make sure you're centered on that light, and then it's a left click and throw, and you will perfectly smoke the graveyard as well as the coffins. And now that you have that paired with the CC smoke from one of your friendlies, you've isolated the entirety of the B site, which enables you to push whenever you want. And now we can get even better here and start using some of Inferno's very good Molotov lineups. Now, by far the best goddamn Molotov you will ever throw in your entire life is this one for backside on B. Because once you throw this Molotov, the entirety of Backside is now no longer accessible for the CT unless he wants to be flame broiled and extra crispy. So he then has to retreat into Oranges where he's isolated and easily picked off, or he has to swing in the open and fight you and your teammates with no help from Cemetery or CT because of those smokes. Basically, he's fucked. So throw this Molotov and take that sight. 
So that leaves the B side pretty well settled. But obviously, if you're not just rushing B every round, you need to take some mid control to start working towards A. And personally, I like to play out of the sewer with a rifle when I work my mid control. So the first thing I do in the vast majority of my Inferno games is I will run upstairs, I will throw this pop flash, and I will hop into sewers. What you want to do here is just have the flash ready, and when you go underneath this first archway, just jump throw off the wall. This will bounce into mid, it will blind all of mid, and it will blind ACT's peaking mid. It also will not blind your teammates on the stairs who may have sniper rifles behind you. Just please communicate with your teammates, because if someone swings mid with you, they will be blind, and then they will be mad at you. Alternatively, let's say mid fighting is not your thing. Instead, you can go to alt mid and set up for this A take with this smoke. What you're going to want to do is line up against this wall here, then aim towards the apartments between the L and the C in Dolce, and you're going to be jump throwing this smoke. It'll land in front of the truck, blocking off pit, and if you push boiler, you can get out of sight for free without having to fight the pit player. This is great for a split push with your teammates from apartments, who can dive into pit and isolate the 1v1 while you secure sight. Another great smoke to set up for the A-take is a smoke off of library, that way you can focus towards pit and the side players don't have to worry about other assistance. What you're going to do here is for mid, you're going to walk into this little mailbox, you're going to look up at the building above you, and where the bottom of the overhang lines up with the left window, you're going to aim there and jump throw. Combine this with an arch side smoke and a flashbang, you can take boiler control and as you're pushing on the site, this smoke will bloom and cover Moto Library perfectly, allowing you to focus on what's going on directly on the A site. Now, if you were fortunate, lucky, and absolutely blessed enough to be able to play with friends, I know, weird concept, and you put together all of this utility, you can dice up the A site so damn fast, it's like you're in a slap chop commercial, and the A defenders won't really know what they're going to have to deal with. Because you can send someone through apartments, they can hop into pit. You can send someone straight up boiler and they get to fight on A-Site for free without having to worry about the pit player or the library player. And you've cut off arch mid so that they can't rotate as fast. This setup is awesome. These smokes individually are really strong, but if you can stack them all, you're going to be executing A-Site so efficiently. Alright, that's pretty much it for the T-Utility I want to show off in this video. As for the CTs, there aren't a whole lot of dedicated lineups on Inferno. A lot of the CT utility is very straightforward, just throwing stuff into gaps. What there is in terms of unique lineups is an entire playstyle that I want to highlight in its own video and give it its own spotlight. That will be coming soon, but for right now, we're going to go ahead and end it here for today. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Save this video for reference later when you're practicing. And hopefully it helps you guys in your real games. If you found this stuff useful, I appreciate it. Let me know in those comments down below. And I'll see you guys soon with another video. Make sure you check me out on Twitch. I will be streaming there tonight. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful evening, wonderful weekend. And I'll see you soon. Later.